It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brew York Brewing Company and it's a can of their Extra Brownie Pints. It's a peanut, hazelnut and caramel brownie milk stout coming in at 11% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. It's 11, 11% ABV. Such a cool number. So for me, of course, imperial strength, imperial strength for the majority of us, I suppose. Um, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. A good bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the colour. Look at the colour. Look at that head. Two to three finger tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. That looks absolutely wonderful. Slow moving carbonation rolling up the side of the glass there. Let's get that all important aroma. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just incredible. Just incredible. Peanut butter, peanuts, caramel, chocolate, coffee, caramel. You get a little sense of that lactose in the beer. That smells bonkers good. Absolutely bonkers good. I've got to remind myself what it is. It's a peanut, hazelnut and caramel brownie milk stout. So yeah, this a, you get the peanut. You get a big nuttiness in there. Oh, I just got to dive in. Just got to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. A little bit of raspberry as well. I'm picking up raspberry. Right, first and foremost, it's completely obvious, and, and I know this, but this beer is full of adjuncts. It's full of adjuncts. Chocolate, brownie, <laughs> peanut adjuncts, hazelnut adjuncts, lactose, a creamy, thick mouthfeel. But it's done in such a way, it's done in such a way that it's really, really good. What I like about Brew York Brewing Company is that they will brew a really good range of like New England IPAs and pale ales and stouts and porters and then they'll they'll experiment because um, I was speaking to I was actually up in Brew York and some of you might have been watching the live feed where we did the Stone Crow Virtual Pub at Brew York and we were discussing how many beers that they produced in 2020 and it was something mad, like 52 beers a month or something like incredibly crazy like that. And the reason why they've done that, of course, is because 2020 was a funny year for everybody. There was a huge explosion of home drinking and the take-home market or the internet beer sales market just exploded. And people wanted to try different beers every week. They're looking at the same four walls most of the time. Uh, I'm not going to give you a history lesson. If you're watching in five years' time and you wonder what was going on in 2020, um, this, this will go down. You know, this will go down forever. I think in 
in, in, in history. Um, so I, I, I won't need to tell you too much about 2020, but it was a very strange year. Um, nobody could go to the pub. Everybody drank at home. And it was the reason why Brew York started brewing 52 beers a month is that because there was a massive demand for not just their beer but a variety of their beer like a massive selection of their beer um people didn't want the same beer week in week out day after day they wanted to try something different all of the time so of course that puts brew york in a very difficult position because they can't just keep pumping out New England IPAs and pale ales and porters and stouts. They have to be kind of messing around with adjuncts and, and, and making these really weird and wonderful beers. This is a really, really good beer. It's got good body, but at the same time, it's very drinkable for a stout. I get like flavors of raspberry and hazelnut and peanut and pistachio. And, and chocolate brownie and I get the lactose from the milk stout um, they have to produce beers like this for just to be able to keep you know keep it going keep the interest there with their beer produce weird wacky wonderful beers like this that people go wow I like this what's next from Brew York So a um, little bit of a story with this beer then before I read the back of the label and stuff. Um, not just this beer but the, the other beers that I've got in the bar from Brew York. So yes I went to Brew York with Mel, craft beer lady. And we had a fantastic live stream and um, I got a case of beer at the end of the night. And our hotel was about a 10 minute walk. So I had this case of beer. Sometimes, do you know when something's quite heavy and you, you know especially when you've got a 10 minute walk and you've and um you've had a long day and so sometimes walking back to the hotel i'm kind of like cradling it like this and then there's other times where i've got this box of beer under my arm but i literally walk this beer back to my hotel room um at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> two o'clock in the morning a big box of brew york beer and I want to say, of course, I want to say at this stage, this is a 100% independent beer review. Um, whether Brew York put me up in a hotel and we had a fantastic time at their brewery, whether whether that happened or not, you know, I'm a 100. This is a 100% independent beer review. I think Brew York would be disappointed if I wasn't. 100% honest with their beer because it gives a wrong representation it gives them the kind of the wrong idea of what you really think of their beer but look at it just look at that rolling that beer around in the glass looking at that carbonation look at the look at the carbonation chasing the head of the glass there wonderful wonderful stuff let's rate it Fantastic, creamy, lactosey, oaty, biscuity, chocolatey, roasted malt, adjuncty, hazelnutty, peanut, pistachio, raspberry flavours that I'm picking up in this beer. Um, we love the original brownie pies but wanted bigger body and more miles per hour. So who are we to argue? James is earning extra brownie pints. So we, came, so we can have this even more decadent peanut, hazel, caramel and chocolate brownie milk stout. Be like James and earn your extra brownie pints. 11% ABV. Another fantastic beer from Brew York Craft Brewery. I'm going to rate it. Just look at that lacing. Watch as I pull the beer back now. Look at that lacing. Look at that. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.